All right. All right. <clears throat> I'm looking at your camera, but yeah, don't look at my eyes. Over there. <laughs> Greetings, fellow makers. Welcome to the shop, but not my shop. It's Joel's shop. It's my shop. Yes, I'm Bill. That's Joel. We're down in his shop, and we're here to talk about 3D printing filament because Joel is the 3D printing nerd. I am. Absolutely. In fact, he has a YouTube channel called the 3D printing nerd. <laughs> and didn't you say if you look up 3D printing, yours is the one that comes up? If you look up 3D printing on yeah. YouTube, mine is the first channel that comes up. It's pretty good. How'd you pull that off? I used a lot of favors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I called in a lot of favors. So one of the reasons why I wanted to come hang out with Joel today is he lives close to me. <laughs> but also, I haven't experimented with very many filaments. I've used my Dremel printer with the PLA, basically, that came with it. That's right. So I haven't had a lot of uh, experience with lots of different filaments, but you have. I have. I have experienced a lot of different filaments in 3D printing, and I'm more than happy to help you on your quest. Excellent. So earlier today, we ran a bunch of your printers with a bunch of different filaments. That's right. So that we could do some experiments on the type of prop work that I like to do with these filaments. Starting with... Actually, starting with my favorite, <laughs> this right here. So this is these are all the amulet of Talos that we did in a, in a previous video, printed, upscaled a little bit, and then printed in different filaments. So what's this one? This one is a copper fill from Colorfab. Ooh, and it's weighty. It's got some absolutely weight there, to it. There is a fair amount of actual copper metal inside the plastic. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, it's got that nice weight to it, um, but it's like a dull copper color. So what I'm hoping is that if we sand it a little bit, we get a little bit of that filament, like color showing out. Yeah. Right? Sanding on these types of filaments usually brings more of the metallic bits to the surface, and then you can you can work with them. Yeah. Um, I imagine it might be a lot like what we've done with cold casting with with um oh. uh, with with metallic powders in casting out of molds like this. Um, where you can sort of expose that metal and then work with it. Oh, okay. You can yeah, polish absolutely. It. That's yeah. right along the same lines. So this stuff here, um, it's kind of interesting. There's a little bit of a little bit showing through there. But the main reason I'll tell you what, the main reason why I want to work with this copper stuff is I have a solution to rust it. Oh, cool. So I'm thinking if we scuff this surface a tiny bit and then douse it in this, it'll get all rusty. It should. So we're gonna give that a try here. I'll give it a quick sand. Uh, as far as the the surface quality on this this stuff, it's pretty great. It's This it, came off a Dremel printer. That's right, that came off the Dremel 3D Idea Builder and it was printed at 200 microns for the layer height. Yeah. All right, so I'm, there's still plenty of like print lines and stuff on there, but that's fine. What I've just gone in is done is sand it a bit, and it's mostly just like removing some of the plastic. But that looks um, kind of cool. And what I want to do now is douse it with this stuff, and we'll see what happens. I'm really curious to see All how right. well this works. Well, I'm actually I'm gonna put it right there okay. in front of the camera, so we can kind of let that time lapse. We'll let that go while we work with this, these other things. Okay. Uh, this stuff here is Sculpt Nouveau makes it. It's a solution for oxidizing metals. Uh, I have another one here called Sophisticated Finishes. Basically the same stuff. Um, depending on where you are, where you live, you can get these things in different places. But I'll have links in the description to those. Um, here, why don't you just go ahead and use this crappy brush. Ooh, okay. Dunk it in there and then brush the oxidizer all over the surface of that. And we'll just kind of see what happens. Oops. So I think just go completely hog wild on it and just get it all over that thing. I can do this. So in the meantime, while that's doing its thing, I'm very interested in the different like qualities of different filaments for how I would use them in my shop for different prints. So that's why we have these other amulets printed out here. So we'll go over what type of uh, filament each one of them is. And uh, we're gonna try some tests, like sanding them and see, see how we feel about that. I love this idea. Me too. So, why don't we start with uh, this guy right here. That is Z-Ultrat filament, printed on the Zortrax M200 3D printer. It's also at, I think it's at 0.19 layer heights. Point, okay. 0.19, so it's almost 200 microns. The way Zortrax does it is a little bit different, but, uh, 
I'm really curious to see how well this sands because it is a proprietary filament that is only used on a certain printer. Right, compared to other printers where you can use whatever filament that you want. That's right. Um, a little bit of stringing there, not too too bad. In fact, all of these came out looking pretty good. Um, not like for the type of work I want to do. It's not. It does require. <laughs> I mean, I'm just picky about the the texture. Um, they are all going to need some work, but what I'm mostly curious about is how much work, right? Right. Like which one is what I would, what I pick, for example, for Mr. Handy here, which was normal PLA, um, I had to do quite a bit of sanding. <laughs> so if I could stumble upon a filament that doesn't need as much sanding, then I'm going to be a happy man. One of the things that you also have to consider is the resolution in which you 3D print things. So yeah. we printed these at 200 microns the layer height and what we could do is bring it down to 100 microns or even less on some printers right. which would then reduce the the layer lines and give you a hopefully less sanding to do yeah but i wanted to do 200 microns for this because i wanted i wanted you to have to sand these yeah not because i hate you but because i just want you to get get a good feel of how each one takes right. to sanding so with all of these, the stepping on the top of it is pretty drastic. So that's going to be a little bit of work. In fact, I do some filling on mine um, normally before sanding that. But the side of it with the normal um, just layers there is actually sanding really, really easily on that guy. So that's the story on that one. All right. So I want to move on to the next one so that we can do a little compare and contrast. Okay. Let's do this. I've actually... I think, hog it's, wild. I think it's, it's perf uh, perfectly it's, covered. It's there. perfectly covered. All right, cool. We'll see how that turns out. Crappy brush. You can see that the uh, brush is rusting oh, on there, that. yeah, because of the metal. I actually made the mistake. I thought, wouldn't it be great if I ran this, I could spray it through my airbrush on things <laughs> and <laughs> rusted my airbrush. <laughs> Don't do that, kids. All right, so what's this stuff here, this, this filament here? That blue filament is from Maker Geeks. It's a PLA filament. And that right. was printed on a, a G-Max 1.5 XT Plus 3D printer. Okay. So I imagine that this will be, the experience will be similar to what I've done. It on, should be very the, similar. Yeah. Very, very similar. Yeah, let's just go to, again, this is just, these are just normal um, sandpapers. I've got like 200 grit sandpaper here from the hardware store. Nothing fancy. This is the, this is what I use on my day to day. Again, uh, I'll tell you what, I think that the, uh, especially on the side, I think this this stuff sanded a little bit easier. Okay. Yeah. But uh, we'll give it a, a little bit more work here and see what what's what. Yeah, I'll tell you what, this stuff is sanding a little bit easier. If we look at the, the two, a similar amount of effort, we can kind of see the lines still showing up on the dark blue one. The Z Ultra, this light blue filament, yeah. is going to be more similar to ABS. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm curious to see the comparisons cool. there. Um, what, uh, we were talking earlier about using different different types of color filament. Mm -hmm. I like using darker filament when I'm sanding it because then it, it gets lighter when you sand it. And oh. you can still tell the areas that need some sanding. Oh. So that's a, that's a good example on that's that. That's a handy tip. Right all right so this one is abs that's correct all right so let's talk about that guy right there that is the matter hackers abs it's from matter hackers pro and it was printed on a flash forge creator pro pretty cool all right let's give it a little bit of sanding and see how we feel about it this now, one i'm really curious about. me too because i have actually i've had friends tell me abs is the way to go and mm -hmm. i uh have never had a chance to try it so we're gonna give it a go do a little bit of sanding mm. No, it's pretty great. No, Ooh. it's it's uh, Eric Jarman. If you're watching, then you're right. Uh, I have a feeling that this is probably going to be really nice. Oh boy. Yeah, that's sanding pretty nicely. I, I was oh, really? actually really impressed with how well it took down these the um, texture on the top of it because that's there's some really drastic steps up there. It's looking pretty good even from way back where I am. Yeah. I might have to get a printer that can do ABS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's sanding rather nicely compared, wow. compared to that one. So if, hopefully the camera will pick it up. 
you can still see the kind of a lot of the lines on there. Again, a similar level of effort there between the two. That's crazy. Yeah, wow. Pretty good. So there is our informal little bit of a test there. Um, I think that I could I could spend hours and hours just tinkering <laughs> with these things, but I think just out of the gate, ABS really might be for my purposes one of the better Man? materials to work with. Yeah, go for it. Wow, that really that smoothed it up nice. And like you said, the steps from the printing process actually are are disappearing as yeah. you sand it. Whereas on the PLA, it looks like you'd have to use a lot more effort to get the same result. Yeah, I agree. Cool. There, science. Science. Speaking of science, that thing is starting to turn kind of greenish. It's it's slightly green. Yeah. You can really tell on the sides here. Yeah. I think, where it's kind of spotty. Am I okay to touch it? Can I? It's. I mean, I... it is rust. Um. So just bear in mind, you don't want to like lick your finger afterwards. But I, you go for it. Well, I just want to. <laughs> The cool thing about rusting stuff like this is as you, as you leave it over time, it kind of matures and changes colors. And you can get oxidizers that will treat metal differently and get different colors out of it. Yeah. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Well, let's wrap this up, but right. we'll leave the camera on that and kind of let it time lapse a bit. Ooh. Just sort of end it on that. That's a good idea. Yes. Uh, cool. That's uh, just about all we have for today. If you guys have a 3D printer and you're looking to experiment a bit, I recommend trying out some ABS. I'm going to, I have to get a new printer you if do. I want to print that. You do need a new printer. But I may, uh, I may be able to um, get that, maybe get a printer. <laughs> 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 if only someone I knew had a bunch of 3D I, printers. Oh. I'll look around. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Joel, so much for uh, helping out, supplying me with the, the prints and everything and tinkering oh, more, today. More than happy to help. Where should people go to check out what you've been working on? If anybody wants to take a look and see what I've done with 3D printing, they can find me by looking for 3D Printing Nerd on YouTube. And in fact, you can go to 3D.pn. Very good. That's my domain. That's perfect. Go over there and subscribe right now. In fact, we are recording another video. We're in the middle of that video for your channel at this moment. At this very moment. We'll have a link to that, let's say right here, Ooh. where we work on some Harry Potter wands and do some finishing techniques. So go check that out, go subscribe to Joel. Thank you for watching everybody. And uh, if you're working on some really cool 3D printed projects, let me know about it in the comments. And thanks for watching. <laughs> I don't have. You don't, don't have. have a, you don't end. I have a good sign off. I don't end. I've, I, I give everyone a high I five. I know. You I could. Um, mm -hmm. Some people high five. High five, right? Yeah. Some people sign off, right? Some people just kind of wave. I oh, um, I should be like Commander Shepard. I should go. <laughs> <laughs>